Alright, so this is Invisible Commands. That is what I'm showing you how to create, but it's kind of a, that's just a weird name for it. Basically, if I just turn this on, when I press this button, it says something. And there are no command blocks here, just right here, for you to do it. So it looks really cool, because it's like, obviously you can see the outline for the of the barrier block, there's nothing I can do about that. But it's literally just an invis just a button, and you press it, and whatever you want can happen. So I'll show you how to make that. So this is what you need here. This is all you need, this bit of here, which is mainly redstone, with a command involved. I'm not good at redstone, but I'm going to try my... What's, what the hell do I do that? Z? <gasps> That's kind of cool. I never knew I could do that. But I'm going to try my best to explain to you some redstone. Redstone with it's just wild. Great. <laughs> anyway, so what you need here is first of all you need a, a command to say repeat unconditional rewards active or needs redstone. I've explained this in every single video, but the reason I have needs redstone is, is because I have so many projects. If they were all always active, that would just be weird. And I would lag out this game. So it's basically, I've repeat unconditional always active or needs redstone turned on. With That doesn't matter. Extra first doesn't matter. With the Talentics is zero. The command is test for blocks. Til tilde, tilde, two, tilde. Tilde, tilde, two, tilde. And then the coordinates of this button, which is 25, 27, 5, 16, I think. Yeah. So basically, the first two coordinates are the coordinates of this button. And this doesn't actually do anything when I press it. But it's just the coordinates of that button. The coordinates of that button. So basically... The test for blocks command compares two blocks. So it's comparing to see whether this button is exactly the same as this button. And if the button's pressed, that button's then different to that one, which I find really cool. So that's got to be there so that they, it can compare these two. Obviously it doesn't have to be there, it could be over there, but then you need to change it from tilde to tilde to tilde to the corners of that button. Anyway, then you want to take, when that's turned on, you want to take a comparator output. I'm not in subtract mode. Just a comparator output from that command block. I'm into a piece of redstone dust, which goes into a block of redstone, which has a torch attached to it. And then there's a re redstone block there, and then your commands. So what it's going to do is, if these two buttons are exactly the same, it's going to take that output, which is going to then put that put the redstone charge into the block. Basically, I don't really un don't really un know redstone that well. I'm going to try and explain it though. Look, I can zoom. It's very cool. But I'm trying my best. So the comparator takes the output from that, and it goes into that redstone piece of redstone dust which goes into the block which will turn the torch off this acts as, in, as an inverter of the redstone signal so basically if these buttons are the same the torch is off so when this button is different if that was turned on the torch turns on which activates this piece of redstone dust which will activate your commands which is whatever commands you want you can have a massive chain of commands as long as you want them to be so when i turn it on you can just watch the redstone torch if you can as you see, it turned on, which activated the command block. So that's the way it works. So, I hope this was explained well enough for you to be able to understand it. I mean, you can just copy it, even if you don't understand it. Although, I really feel like I do my tutorials to be understood, not for you just to copy. Because there's no way you're going to improve unless you understand it. And that's the way I improved. So, I hope you did all enjoy this. Oh, it starts raining. Great. Well, I'm going to do my outro in the rain. I hope you did all enjoy this short tutorial. If you did, do consider leaving a like down below. It goes a long way. And also subscribe for more tutorials, gameplay, other content with notifications on. So you do not miss out on a single upload. Also comment down below any other videos you'd like to see. Any tutorials, any gameplay challenges, things like that. I really, really appreciate the suggestions. Also check out all my links in my Discord. I have, I don't know, all my links in the description, sorry. I have Discord, website, Instagram, tons of links. I really appreciate you just checking them all out, and that's it, I will see you in a couple days with another video, peace.